Hey y'all, I'm Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to another gardening video. So I have a little update for you today on my peonies. I planted four peonies last year, two plants and two tubers. Um, and I shared those with y'all in a video early last spring, I want to say, to the end of the summer. And so in the south, I'm in zone 8B, 9B. I don't remember. I think it's 8B. Um, it can be a little hard to grow peonies. I did a whole video on just tips for growing peonies in the south. We do not get cold enough here. And that is a little deceptive because for the first time since I've lived here in the last six years, we actually had a full on 19 degree, 8 degree freeze over Christmas, which was two days ago. So everything out here froze. Not 100% sure. Some of my warm loving plants are going to make it to next year, but you know, we'll see what happens. Either way, the peonies actually probably loved the freeze, but that was one freeze the entire season and they need cold time from the beginning of December to the end of January to really bloom and thrive. And so one of the best tips that I've read or learned from people who have been gardening in the South much longer than I have is to ice your peonies no less than once a week, but preferably two or three times a week through those two months of December and January. So for the last month, all of December, I've been coming out twice a week and icing my peonies. Um, and I do think it's helping because I have noticed, especially on the first tuber over here that I'll show you that the eyes have gone from um, not quite there to that red pretty color that peonies get when they're starting to push up from the ground in the spring. So I think that's a good sign. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and bring y'all closer and show you, you do want to cut your peonies back at the very um, beginning of the fall season here in the South, when things are just starting to die back and kind of force them to go dormant because otherwise they will stay green much longer than they should. They need that period of dormancy and then you want to start icing them in December. So let me pull you up close to the biggest one. My tubers got hit by a heat wave last year, so they never really grew too much, um, but they will, you know, keep going for next year. They're tubers, so they'll come back. And uh, the plants themselves never bloomed, but they got really big and bushy, and hopefully next year they will bloom, if not the year after. Peonies can sometimes take a few seasons of being established, and having cold periods before they will really start to bloom. So this is a labor of love. And hopefully we will eventually love the blooms, but for now, we're just going to keep working at it and hope that it makes a difference. All right. So you can see my tuber here and you can see where I cut the actual plant down last year. And then right here is the eye of that plant. There's another one here and you can see that they are both that pretty red, that peonies, like when they are healthy. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our ice right over the crown of the plant. And it doesn't always want to stay, but you want to put enough that it's really covering. Do the other ones. Here's another one, and these are the tubers. Like I said in that original video, Certain peonies do better in the south than others. They can handle more of the heat um, that we get down here. So these two tubers are Shirley Temple and the other two are Jacorma, which I special ordered the Shirley Temple. I'll leave that link below. Because it was the number one recommended peony to try in the south. And then the Jacorma, which is the one with the pretty eyes I showed you, I actually picked up at my local nursery and it is the one that they recommend for our area on um, my local nursery. So, you know, we trust them. They know what they're doing. Oh yeah. The P 
peonies like the cold, but I don't think my poor ferns did. And that's it. This is a very quick and easy video. We're really just putting ice on the peonies. Now I have an ice maker that will not quit. I'm always getting ice cubes. I have to turn it off every couple minutes. So it is easy for me to accumulate large bits of ice to come put on these multiple times a week. However, if getting ice is hard for you or you have the room in your freezer, I don't have a lot of room in my freezer. I've also seen people say that they freeze a layer of water like in the bottom of a cake pan because blocks of ice will cover a large area and they will stay cold longer, giving your peonies more cold time. So if you have the ability to do larger sheets of ice, that is a great solution that I know a lot of people really recommend in the South. If you're going to stick with ice cubes, you want to make sure you're doing that multiple times a week. Um, and I know I've talked to a few people in my area that say once their panties are established, they don't need to come out and ice them as often. But especially in these first few years, it's really important. So cross your fingers and we'll see. I'm gonna have to do a whole update on what the darn frost did to my plants. I mean, these were annuals, so I wasn't expecting them to live, but some of all my pretty ranunculuses that were coming up, they are all droopy. My columbines I put in are all droopy. I'm not sure whether I should cut them off and let new growth come up or if they're just gone. We'll find out, I guess. I'm going to give them at least a couple days to see if they bounce back. But if you've grown peonies in the south, or if you know someone who has, leave me some comments down below. I'd love to hear your advice. And if you are wanting to try this for the first time, go check out the original video with all my research on growing peonies in the South. Like I said, I'm new to this, but that was all the information given to me. And so far it seems to be working. So I will see y'all in the next video. Sorry, this one was so short and sweet, but I just wanted a little update for y'all on what it actually looks like to do this. Cause it seems easy, but I get confused easily with easy things, so. Bye.